Hey everybody, it's the uh, 16th of October, uh, late in the season for us. We're going out to try and catch the uh, last keeper stripe bass of the season. So, fingers crossed, we're headed out in front of the lighthouse in Chatham, because that's the word of where everything is. Ethan is going to be taking us all the way out to the, to the north cut. He's completely going to take us through all the shallow channels, everything. Ethan is the captain for the day. Let's hear it, Ethan. Uh, hopefully we uh, live. Let's go. So about a mile down that way, Ethan has spotted a fleet of other boats, which we are going to go and uh, see what they're doing. Jump them. Ethan, tell us what you're going to do. What have you seen? Uh, I see some boats, and then if there's nothing there, I think I might shoot out to this little tuna fleet and just see what's going around out there, because once in a while, there's stripers out deep there. You nice. can jig them up. It's fun. I don't know how well you guys can see this, but this is the largest mola I think I've ever seen in my life. Look at the size of this thing. Oops. That thing is as big as a sheet of plywood. Look at the size of it. Can you get me up next to him? In the fall, the molas are very common for us to see, but this is a this is the biggest mola either and both Andy and I, I, I probably Ethan to have ever seen. This thing has got to be. I bet it's, it's got to weigh what? A thousand pounds? More than that. Look how thick he is. Look at the size of this. He's like, hello dudes. Look at the size. It's a baby whale. Put Look reverse. at the Put size of that reverse. mola. Reverse. Reverse. I don't know if you, look at this in comparison to the boat, how big that thing. That's He's, tool. He's coming. Come here. Look at the size of that one. It's got to be over a thousand pounds. I would say so, yeah. No. Man, that is, the, that is the biggest mola I've ever seen. I wonder how old he is. You'd think that maybe the... Look at the size. I can't, here's my hand for scale. That doesn't help at all, but that thing is... That thing is as big as a sheet of plywood. It's huge. He's got to be what? He's friendly. Eight foot? I don't know. Hello? He's coming up to. Look at the size of that mole. It's a baby whale. Oh, yeah. Andy's on. Oof. We're about a half. We're not very far offshore at all. We found a little group on the bottom. And he's on the. This could be his first keeper striper. <laughs> first keeper first uh, and last. What now? What day is it? The 16th of October. 16th of October. So we, because of my leg and we weren't out on the boat, there's been it's been a rough. This is the summer that never was, but now this fall we're we're uh, making up for it. <laughs> One so day. Andy's using this discount store reel. He needs to it's buy not, a new it's reel. A, um, it's a Fenor. 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 Whatever it is, it's discount. Discount store. I don't know what the drag is at right now. Oh. Dude, Ooh, one fish in that. Oh, and done. You, <clears throat> done for the day. We marked them good. You can see that? I don't know if you can. Yeah, let me look. We're right on a good school here. Everyone else doesn't seem to be hooked up. We've had, we just got here. We've had three fish on. We've not landed one yet, though. It's been a. I here just, it comes. Oh. I just landed one. It's a 40 pounder. <laughs> It's a slot fish. Ethan, you want to lip him? Nope. I had no help with mine. This one's a good one. Yeah, mine was bigger. This guy's hooked in the nose. This wasn't bigger than this. Yes, it was. It wasn't a pig's eye. Pick it up there, strong guy. There we go. Boom. Let me get that. I, we're too close here. I'm too close to you. First and last. Ethan, or Alex put the wrong lens on, so we have the, the zoom lens. See, Andy. Woohoo! Turn it sideways. There's like, one. Oh my. Ta da! Hold on, let me get you a picture. We have a metal jig. Drop it. This has a single hook. 
dropping down. We're using a shortened uh, rod because that gives you a better feel for the bottom. Is that what that rod, why that rod's like that? First thing you want to do is take your rod, snap the end of it off, then take your shirt off, and you're ready to go. So you're dropping that to Drop the bottom. That down, right to the bottom. Oop. We're also using braided line down to the bottom, slack, and then do the idiot bounce. I don't know why, but you have to bounce it as you reel it up. He's Everyone does it, and that's how you fish. Bring it up, and then drop it back down. Shorten your rods before you come out if you want. <laughs> Snap the ends off all of them. So that you customize every, so you'll yeah. buy a brand new $200 yeah. rod and then customize. Then customize it with a, um, with a pair of vice grips. Come on, come back. You know, you know, you could take that off and put a huge eye on it. That would be the best rod. Stiffest rod. It's, it's, it's a travel rod. It's a travel. It's a travel rod, so you can pack this. I can take it in my suitcase. Come on. There's a little, a little thing of birds going off right here. See that? There's fish there. Okay. When you drop your line down, drop it down. Hits the bottom. Jig it up, and then start over again. Do not just leave it down there and keep jigging and jigging and eventually it'll pan out. You want it straight up and down. And we're not in that much water, so it doesn't take that long to reel it back in. Am I jiggling? Well, I, that's my whole you body You are, your boobs jiggling, which is disturbing. That's probably gonna get us banned off Facebook. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you wanna go straight up and down. We're only in 30, no, 50 feet of water. 50 feet of water? No. 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 36 feet of water. We got a good pile of fish below us, and he's dropping down. A little bit of a fish. I just caught a fish. Ethan got cut by it. And he's got a little tail. Ethan, Ethan, you're in my. Oh, there you go, right off the bat. Oh, yeah. Bloody now. Land it. Here will be a charge. Oh, yeah. You can really feel them on these shorter rods. <laughs> oh, there he is. Some people would let uh, a uh, oh, broken rod stop That'll their fun. That'll make it. That keeper? Back into the water. Slot limit. Measure them. Oh, that guy's, look at the size of that, the side of him. Ethan, let me see the side of that fish, please. Like, look at all his goofed up stripes. Uh, you're trying here. here. Yeah, some people would let a broken rod slow them down, but not me. All right, your Measure hook's him. in me. Please unhook me. Measure oh, him. gross. He's short. Nice fish, though. Measured anyway. I want to know. What is it? 26. 26. Note the, the bounce. bounce. You gotta have the jig. There it is. Lifted his shirt Notice. right up. Brings up the belly. Brings up the belly. Woo. Nice. That's, That's kind of odd. That's a very <laughs> very um, exhibitionist there, Matt. Try not to break your rod. These things happen. So pull an Even the best of us have these problems. I will say that last yeah. last time I was um, filming Alex at it's very jiggly, <laughs> very shaky. What, the camera was jiggly yeah, the, or your the, body? Uh, no, the camera. I, no, actually, I didn't film that day. I, had, I held the light for the um, Stingray video. Yeah. There he is. Somewhere, uh, yeah. These fish are not getting a lot of fight. Whoa. And Andrew goes in the drink. In the drink. Any famous words or anything, Matt? No. I said don't pick him up by those hooks. That's it. He's short. <laughs> oh, well. Oh. Nice. So just drop it down. Mm -hmm. Then jig, 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 jig. That would have been better if I caught one already. It would have. This rod's got good jiggy action. Oh. It seems by the way it's jiggy, it's doing, it's something's funny about this. It's spinning. Yeah, something is snagged. Is it a skate? We could call those oh, ladies. Oh, those ladies. 
It is. Where are those ladies? You should have got their number. Second species. He says, hello. Oh, right there. Do you think those ladies will be having lunch again? Well, well, the story is we saw some ladies yesterday who were trying to get squid. She was British. I stuck with skate. She was a British woman who wanted to skate. Don't Put it on your head. Wear it like a hat. What is he gonna no. Do? <laughs> Uh, that, there was a moment was there. Like, that would make good video. There was no, a I'm moment sorry. there. See how the fin, the fin the this is another, this is the time of year when the giant molars show up. But look at the size of this one. All right, Ethan's going to touch it. Go in. No, la, la. Shake his hand. <laughs> Shake his hand. Hi there. How you doing? Pick him up. Oh, I'm lifting it. Oh, I got him. You know, there are not a lot of wild sea creatures that let you pet them. We figure about 40 drifts, and then finally we've caught a bunch of fish. Get the sun on my face. Nice fish, Andy. Yeah. Woohoo! We've been out here probably four hours or so. We've caught 20, 25 fish. Uh, they have not been big. We managed to get, we got three nice keepers in the box. Each of us finally, I finally caught a keeper. So it's, um, October 16th, probably the last fish of the season. Unless we get out, we get another good patch of weather. Uh, we're gonna go home, we're gonna cook them up. Uh, stay tuned and watch this for the rest of the video. We got the bass. It's a little bloody, not the best fillet job, but we got some it's cracker really crumbs. It's a fillet job. What are you talking about? Get some cracker crumbs here. We've ground a whole bunch of black pepper in there and some garlic powder. I'm gonna add that, Ethan. Get some butter. Come over here and well, let's just not squeeze that. that in there. Put some lemon. It's a seed did in there. Did you not think about that? I did not know it would go shooting over there. That was you. At least have to go like mm. put the, the yeah. lemon seeds out of here. <clears throat> what are the chances? There's a bunch of them over on my Why side. Why don't they take seedless lemons? Over on my side, there's some seeds before you stir it in. Right under your. There you go. <gasps> Look, if you're gonna... You just put it in your hand when you do it. I don't know what happened there. Just do this like a normal person. And slowly get all that good juice. Juice it up. We got the lemon juice, we got the black pepper. We're gonna put this in. Ethan, get me a fork, please. A fork. Stir it up, dude. Come on. What temperature? 350. Okay. Nice. What does it need? Pepper. More pepper? Yeah. Okay. Okay, then you're going to take that and put it on top of this. Where's Bass right here. Right up there, there's a grinder of it somewhere. And then pop it in the oven. Like this, lots of it. Probably too much butter, too many crumbs, but everybody likes the crumbliness. Do do. Boom. Okay, we're back at the house right now. Uh, Andrew filleted the fish uh, at the landing so that we didn't get footage of that. There was a whole crowd, but we got it back here. Um, we have it with Ritz cracker crumbs, butter, um, black pepper, and garlic. Uh, we've done this before in another video. Look back to that video. There you go. And you'll see exactly how we cook this. But we're gonna put it in the uh, oven at 350, about 20 minutes, and it's gonna be our dinner. So the, that's the end of our uh, last Bass of the Season video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like and subscribe. Put some comments in the comments. And we'll see you next time.